Hello audience, Mary. Wish you happiness and prosperity. Mary would like to welcome you for visiting my channel and here is the official news. Follow up. One, Brett Favre thanks fans for support amid Parkinson's diagnosis. Brett Favre has expressed gratitude for the overwhelming support he received after announcing his Parkinson's diagnosis during a welfare reform hearing. In a video posted on Instagram, the NFL legend emphasized the importance of raising awareness about head trauma and Parkinson's disease, noting that many people may be affected without realizing it. Favre, who was diagnosed earlier this year, views this as the beginning of a new challenge in his life. 2. Derek Rose aim retiring Former NBA MVP Derek Rose announced his retirement in a heartfelt Instagram post, expressing gratitude for the game of basketball, which he referred to as his first love. He reflected on the support and love basketball provided him throughout his career, describing the court as his sanctuary. Rose, the number one overall pick in 2008, quickly rose to prominence, winning Rookie of the Year and becoming the youngest MVP in league history at age 22 in 2011. 3. Caitlin Clark beefs with courtside fan. Security gets involved. Caitlin Clark had a strange confrontation with a courtside fan during the Indiana Fever's playoff game against the Connecticut Sun, prompting security to intervene. The incident occurred after a foul call when Clark exchanged words with the fan and pointed him out to the referees, leading to arena officials escorting him away briefly. He was later allowed to return to his seat without further issues. Although Clark was not directly questioned about the incident, she mentioned the need to stay focused on the game during a brief interview. The Fever ultimately lost the game 87-81 ending Clark's playoff run. 4. Black China EX Boyfriend Sues, Rob was right. You're abusive, Black China is facing a lawsuit from her ex-boyfriend, Twin Hector, who alleges that she physically abused him during their nearly three-year relationship. The lawsuit details a violent incident in September 2021 where Hector claims China attacked him while he was sleeping, using her fists, elbows, and knees, and pinning him down so he couldn't defend himself. He reports sustaining severe injuries, including facial gashes and a swollen eye, and has included a graphic photo in the lawsuit. The claims also reference previous allegations made by Rob Kardashian against China. 5. Disneyland arrest mom allegedly snuck kids into park four times in two months a 28-year-old mother was arrested at Disneyland after allegedly sneaking her children into the park for the fourth time in two months. This incident, which was the first time she was caught, led to her being handcuffed and escorted out while her crying children clung to her. Video footage of the arrest circulated on TikTok showing the woman yelling obscenities and expressing distress as onlookers watched. There was speculation online that she may have been removed for drinking. But the details of the incident remain unclear. Six. Kate Middleton and Prince William are going through hell, says heartbroken confidant Kate Middleton and Prince William are reportedly facing a difficult time. Described as going through hell by their close confidant, Amaya Arietta. Arietta, who has styled the couple's children since Prince George was a baby, expressed her heartbreak following Middleton's cancer diagnosis, emphasizing the personal nature of their struggles. 
She has previously kept details about the family private but felt compelled to share this update. The Post has contacted Kensington Palace for further comment. 7. The complete transformation of Tila Tequila in the early 2000s. MySpace was the leading social media platform, where Tila Tequila emerged as its most popular figure. She leveraged her internet fame into a controversial television career, notably starring in MTV's first bisexual dating show. A shot at love with Tila Tequila. While she enjoyed significant pop culture visibility during this time, her prominence declined as the 2010s approached. With her occasional appearances in the news primarily linked to scandals rather than accomplishments. Despite her absence from the spotlight, she has not completely disappeared. 8. Aaron Gordon addresses brother Drew's death. Teammates Got Me Through It Denver Nuggets star Aaron Gordon has spoken publicly for the first time since the tragic death of his brother, Drew, in May. He expressed gratitude for the support of his teammates, who attended the funeral and have been there for him during his grieving process. Gordon acknowledged that he previously had weaker relationships outside of his family but now considers his teammates as brothers. He also shared that he chose to wear number 32 in honor of Drew. As it felt appropriate, 9. NBA's Aaron Gordon changing jersey number. To honor late brother NBA star Aaron Gordon will honor his late brother, Drew. By changing his jersey number from 50 to 32 for the upcoming season, reflecting the number Drew wore during his career. Drew, who played professionally overseas and briefly in the G League, tragically passed away in a car crash in Portland three months ago. In addition to the jersey change, Gordon has also tattooed a gorilla and his brother's initials on his chest as a tribute. While he hasn't spoken extensively about his brother's death, his team expressed their devastation over the loss. 10. Aaron Gordon bitten by dog on Christmas. Suffers cuts to face. Hand Aaron Gordon of the Denver Nuggets was attacked by a dog on Christmas, resulting in 21 stitches for cuts on his face and hand. The team announced he will be away from the team for the foreseeable future to recover, with no specific timetable for his return. Nuggets head coach Michael Malone emphasized the importance of Gordon healing fully before returning. Prior to the incident, Gordon had performed well in a game against the Golden State Warriors. Contributing 16 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists.